Goldman Sachs is predicting the Fed will start cutting interest rates at the end of Q2 next year. In a note to clients, they said that the US Federal Reserve will start cutting rates at 25 base points per quarter and ultimately stabilize rates at around 3% to 3.25%. Remember, the US interest rates are currently between 5.25% and 5.5%. So that means the investment bank is predicting multiple rate cuts starting mid-2024. And here you can see the speed of those potential rate cuts from mid-2024 in this chart of implied Fed rates from Bloomberg. Although this is regardless of whether the US economy enters a recession. However, Goldman Sachs' own team are predicting unspectacular growth for the US economy. Inflation is most likely a catalyst for rate cuts and inflation seems to be headed in the right direction. But why do they think this? Goldman Sachs' chief US economist David Melsell wrote, the cuts in our forecasts are driven by this desire to normalize the fund's rates from a restrictive level once inflation is closest to target, not by recession. Many economists were already predicting that the Fed will hold rates steady at its next meeting in September. This is with the core consumer price index, which strips out the volatile food and energy categories, falling to a further 4.7% in July, when price growth had expected to remain flat. With the personal consumer expenditures inflation, Another inflation measure tracked by the Fed predicted to cool to below 3% on a year-by-year -year basis and below 2.5% on a monthly analyzed basis. This further reinforces Goldman Sachs economists. However, they are not alone in that prediction. Both Bank of America and Wells Fargo see cuts in that time frame as well. Bank of America recently had to push back its original projection for another Fed rate hike in November. So what does this mean for the US dollar? Recently, the US dollar has been incredibly strong and this heat map shows it. The US dollar has risen in value against every major currency between 1% and 10%. The dollar's strength is largely down to aggressive rate hikes made by the Fed and expectations of further rate hikes to come. However, if Goldman Sachs are right and we start seeing rate cuts, that could well put the USD strength in question and we could start to see the pound or the euro stage recoveries against the dollar as a consequence. So what do you think? Will we see the dollar retain its strength or is this the start of its decline in value? Let us know in the comments and make sure you subscribe to XDB.